where Jesse Smollett, who is a well-known uh, gay black actor, was attacked by two people in Chicago who put a noose around his neck and uh, dumped an unknown chemical on him, and according to his testimony to the police, um, said, this is MAGA country. Right. Um, so as a, a gay and black Trump supporter, how do you square that? Um, do you feel safe? And do you think that Trump's rhetoric and his policy are emboldening people to commit similar atrocities against people in our community or in the black community, or more specifically, in the gay and black community? <laughs> I'm actually glad I'm being asked about this story. People ask me about this story like, oh, wait. Um, first of all, that story, think about it this way. Um, OK, so a MAGA supporter, a Trump supporter is outside who probably doesn't watch Empire at all, probably never seen it, because it's too leftist even for me to watch, but, you know, they probably never seen it. They're outside, 2 o'clock in the morning, they happen to have bleach, robe, it's like 10 degrees below zero, and they know this guy to look for him and do this. Clearly, the, the it's BS. I think it, I, it was fake news from the first time I saw it, and I said, this is just really convenient. If you look at what his tweets are, some of the disgusting things he said about the president, I'll be able to support the president, and with him, and with even with the writers of the show, and trying to make it all political and whatever, it's a total anti-Trump cabal. More than likely, that was a, a bad sex deal, or a bad drug deal, or something like that gone bad, but then, you know, it's always easy to blame the MAGA person, and throw the media on it, everybody piles on. More and more more and more we're finding out that more and more of what he said is not coming out to be true. There's been nobody, they've seen no one on camera with these MAGA hats or whatever. They didn't even see where the attack actually happened, and they've been looking at videotape all around the Chicago River area, all through downtown, so I haven't seen it. So I just think it's quite convenient that someone with such an anti-Trump bias comes out all, it comes out all of a sudden they've been attacked for whatever reason, but it's MAGA. And first of all, no self-respecting <coughs> Trump person calls it MAGA country. We don't even use that term. So, like, uh, I just looked that whole story. It's fake news, Benji, like, clearly. This, I'm not going to be able to convince you if you just live in a different reality or perceive no, different facts or something like that. Fact, we're talking about facts, right? I mean, if we look at what the facts are, nothing he said has been substantiated by any type of fact yet. But it's quite convenient that all the mainstream media jumps on top of it. I'm t If I came out against Trump tomorrow, I'd be the biggest star in America. Oh, my God, Trump did something to me. Oh, Lord, I'd be the biggest thing in the world. I'd be on Oprah. I'd be everywhere tomorrow. That's all it takes nowadays. It's ridiculous. It's fake news.